in today's tutorial we're learning how to make this animated coffee slide with the floating beans in your canva design in just a few simple minutes and we're starting from a blank canvas now first we want to change the background color so click on the background and then select background color here we want to type in green or you can choose any green color that you like and let's see if we can find a nice one i kind of like this bluish tint green so let's select that click on the x to clear the selection click on add new color and then choose for a gradient we want a circular gradient, but we want the light part to be in the middle. This is a bit too blue, so I'm going to drag it more towards the green side. Let's play around with the colors. Maybe this one we can go more towards the green and a bit darker until we find the right tone that we want to work with. I'll go for this one. Next, we want to go to the elements tab. So we click on elements and here we want to type in frame. Click on see all and select the circular frame. Add it in the middle of your slide and drag it slightly upwards because we're going to put our subject right in front of it. We can give it an outline, a border, and increase the border weight. You can also change the color to something of that blue, but then darker. Let's try this. Now we want to look for a nice coffee field. Let's see if we can find any nice images. We go to photos, and here we can see a nice selection of coffee fields. So, so let's look for a green one and then drag it on the selection. Let's drag it in the frame. You can double click to scale if you want to increase it in size. And if you want to change the image, you can easily scroll, find a different one, and then just drag any other selection onto the picture. I think this one might look a bit better. I kind of like the blue from the sky, which is subtly added to the picture. And now let's look for coffee cup. Click on photos, see all. And then let's look for a nice coffee cup. I kind of like this one with the wood. It gives that natural feeling to it. Reduce it in size and place it in front of the mirror or the subject. Now we want to add some more elements to the design. For example, some coffee beans to add to the design. For that, we type in coffee beans. And I think this explosion of coffee beans will look great on the design. So I'm going to add it. Let's make it a bit smaller and position it in between the cup. Drag it to the side. You always have to be careful that you don't release it in the frame, otherwise it will take over. So always drop it somewhere next to the frame that your cursor doesn't go on top of it, otherwise it will snap in. Let's do it like this. Rotate them a bit, maybe flip them horizontally to the other side. There we go. And looking at it right now, I think the background is a bit too blue. So I'm going to go to background color, click on gradient. And here I want to change it a bit more towards the green side. Do the same for the lighter color. I think this looks a bit better and it matches the style of the image better. Now we can select all the elements, increase them in size, and maybe add some blur to the cup. Go to edit, shadows, drop shadow, increase the blur amount, reduce the intensity, and then again increase the cup. Now we can add some elements to the slide. Here let's type in coffee plant and then go to graphics. And here we can add some nice coffee plants. Let's try a few see which one looks nice i think this one will look quite cool make it white and then add some transparency to it so it's very subtle and in the background put it on the corner and let's see if we can find another one coffee plant graphics one in the same style but with some different leaves and also make that one white or you can just select this one copy style and paste it on the other one let's increase it send it all the way to the back even behind the graphic maybe rotate it a bit there we go it's always positioning it a bit into the slide. Maybe let's drag this one to the bottom and add some small text here. See if we can find something existing with coffee. Coffee person. Let's put that to the top, make it white, and maybe we change this to coffee time and increase it in size. Now let's animate this. So let's duplicate the page and now let's add some animations. The coffee cup. I want to animate that one coming from the bottom. So let's do either baseline. That will look good. The coffee beans, I want to have a breed animation on those. The coffee time can be more of a scrapbook style. Those two elements, I want to have them fly in. Let's do them one by one. So we have the leaves on the top right. Animate, pan from the right to the left. And this one we pan from the other side. Let's reduce the intensity. And then we also have this mirror effect here in the back of the picture. That one I think we can use a rise for. Reduce the speed. And then the only thing is the beans should only come in at a later time. So I'm going to right click show timing, select both beans 
and let's reduce the timing by just a little bit. Let's duplicate the page and on the first one, remove everything so that we can easily preview the animations. And now let's preview. And this is how you can create this animated poster in Canva in just a few minutes with the animated effect of the coffee beans behind the cup. It also has some depth to the site where you can see the picture of the origins and some nice design elements on the site. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.